Are you looking for that next great cruise vacation, but want to leave the kids home? Or perhaps there's no kids in the picture? Stay with us as we do a review of Adult Only Cruising. <music> Joining me today to talk about adult cruising is Amber Drogi and Dick Knoll of Cruise Holidays of Topeka. Cruise Holidays of Topeka is a longtime travel agency serving the needs of folks in and around Topeka, Kansas, and across the country. Hi, folks. Welcome to RTE Travel Talk. Hi. Good to be with you, Ken. Great to have you with us. So one of the things that's come to light in the last little while with on RTE Travel Talk is we get a lot of questions about folks asking about, you know what, I love kids, but what are my options for adults only cruising? Now, my partner and I are looking for some me time for that next vacation. Now, I happen to know that that's a topic that's going to become a bit of a specialty for your agency. So I thought today we could spend a little time and look at some of the options for adult cruising, give our viewers a, an overview of what, what it's all about and what the options are. How does that sound? Sounds good. Perfect. So why don't we kind of start with a 30,000 foot level view, just what adults cruising is, what it entails and what kind of what sets it apart from regular cruises and some of the cruise lines that are actively providing adults only cruising. Well, the, the, the start of the answer is that it, it's different in a lot of ways and, and, and a lot of the ways are subtle other than the fact that there aren't kids on an adult only cruise. Right. And that those cruise lines and those ships are not catering to families and youth may not be a different itinerary, but it's certainly going to be a different feel on board because they're not going to be the kids programs and the staff is going to be catering to adults, not kids. Right on, right on. Are there quite a number of cruise lines involved with that? Well, there aren't very many cruise lines that say no kids. Right. But there are definitely cruise lines you might pick that allow kids where you might not have a lot of kids. So all of your luxury lines, the river cruise lines, are not going to have very many kids, if any. Right. But and there are well. also lines that are adult only. And right. we can name two probably that are obvious virgin and viking okay which basically cater to adults only okay so besides the obvious like obviously no kids what you know what would you find as some of the key benefits of an adults only cruise relaxation and i think it depends on the line viking you're going to get an enrichment in art and culture and they're going to delve deep into that on the virgin side it's going to be more how the cruiser wants to spend their time they can spend it as upbeat and rambunctious as they want, or they can just have a relaxation time and enjoy quiet. So if I understand what you're telling me, Amber, they're really zeroing, zeroing in on what ticks all the boxes for adults. Exactly. So you may see less games up on the top deck, more enrichment in the auditorium, different opportunities. For instance, the uh, comedian might be different right. on, the, on the ship, those kind of programs. They don't have to be as sensitive about some subjects as they might be otherwise. Exactly, exactly. So because he, there's not going to be any kids in the audience yeah. or perhaps yeah. their parents don't want them to, <laughs> to be exposed at this point in their life. Exactly. Yeah. And then comparing the two, Virgin and Viking, your Viking is going to be more culture-based and art-based and historian-based where right. the Virgin side might be a little more edgy, a little more fun and flair. Okay. So Dick, you mentioned earlier that the cruise itineraries and the destinations normally don't vary a whole lot from, from a regular cruise. Is that is that true with Viking and Virgin or do they actually go to some places that, you know, may be of more interest to an, an adults only theme? Well, oftentimes the the port of call is is limited by the size of the ship. So yeah. If, especially in the luxury lines with the smaller ships, they may be able to go to ports that can handle a small ship physically and the smaller numbers that are going to be coming on shore right. than uh, a large ship, which would be more typically 
a family oriented type of ship. So right. that's the difference. You can't really count on a huge difference in itinerary based on whether it's a family cruise or an adults only cruise. But they're right. all going to hit like the Caribbean, Europe, transatlantic, South Pacific, all the areas. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what about the onboard amenities and entertainment? Now you mentioned, obviously with the entertainment, they can be a little bit more risque in some cases um a little edgy um but for the most part you know what you're getting yourself into before you go but then again on some of the lines you're going to be more historian based or you're going to have enrichment courses that prepare you for the destination that you're going to arrive at that way you you're learning as you go as well so the enrichment forms a, a, a large part of it on an adults only cruise if i understand you correctly yeah you may find that uh, there are more beverage oriented programs on an adult only where you'd right. have scotch tasting or martini making or those kind of labs or skills or or tastings and that would make sense and you're going to find probably i would expect you're probably going to find more of those simply because they're not having to design programs for both families and adults they're That's just right. designing programs on that particular cruise for just adults yeah. only yeah you know you, the other thing is you might find the music a little different in the disco or in the uh the other music venues so what about dining options are they pretty much the same or with an adults only cruise could you expect something a little perhaps maybe a little higher end or different tastes well i'm not sure that that's going to make a big difference i mean right. the, if there's a if there's a hamburger bar up on the on the pool deck that's still going to be open, but there might not be a lot of kids running around throwing French fries at each other. <laughs> That's going to depend more on the cruise line yeah. and the ship and, and what the venues that they have supports. You're typically going to get similar food. No, exactly. And as well, like you, you mentioned that the demographics from cruise line to cruise line to cruise line can vary quite a bit. So even if some cruise lines are not catered to both families and and the other, your agency can probably direct people in the right direction towards, you know what, it's going to, there's going to be some kids on this cruise line, but not a lot because of the particular yeah. theme of the ship. Yeah. So for instance, if you put a Royal Caribbean ship and a Holland America ship side by side right. and tried to estimate who's going to be on which ship, there's going to be a lot more kids on that Royal Caribbean ship, even though Holland will accommodate families. Right. But, and that makes sense because Royal Caribbean goes out of their way to provide activities and and the like that would attract attract families and kids. Exactly. So what about the social scene as compared to a family oriented ship? For example, if I was to go on board an adults only cruise as a solo traveler, would would that be a good fit for me? As I think so. Uh, I think like minded um, adults gather together. And we're seeing an uptick in solo travel right now. And so I don't think there's a better time. So it's a good fit then. It is. It's a very good fit. You're going to see solo travelers, couples, group friends of uh, groups of friends, generational adults with the older adults. Uh, You're going to see all of it. Right. So Amber, we talked about Viking and Virgin catering just to adults only and some of the other regular lines that, you know, you're going to find some some kids on board and some with quite a bit more but are there is there such a thing as on some of these other lines as specialized adults only departures for example on royal caribbean could you find an adults only cruise do they provide such a thing or or is it strictly one or the other i'm not aware of royal caribbean having Mm -hmm. an adult only option i know they have adult only areas on their boat as do a lot of lines they have adult only areas but but here's the thing you could find Um, Even if it's not an adult only ship, you might be able to find an adult only group that you could book into. There are some groups that are for single and solo travelers. And even though the group is all adult, that doesn't necessarily mean the ship would be all adult. But But yet but yet then that, then this group probably can be organized with special events for those people on board. Yeah. Um, Greet, meet exactly. and greets and the, and the like, right? Yep. Correct. Yeah. Now, again, coming back to um, solo travelers, I gather the accommodations are pretty much the same on board because the ships are the same. 
So the staterooms are going to are not going to vary a whole lot. But is there provision for solo travel and solo cabins on, for example, Viking and Virgin? On Virgin, there is. They do offer solo provision, so you're only charged for the single traveler, and they give six hundred dollars in free beverages, alcoholic beverages or specialty beverages, uh, to those solar travelers. Oh, great. And there are solo rooms on other cruise lines, even though they're not adult only. For example, Norwegian has solo rooms. Right. So I would expect they're in demand quite a bit, those solo rooms. There wouldn't be a lot on each ship. They are. Yeah. And they do that in a pod situation so that they have an area that's dedicated to those rooms and those people. To help these people that are traveling solo connect. Right. Yeah. Now we talked about river cruises. For the most part, my experience with river cruises, like there is there is some river cruise lines that that will allow families on board, but then it's not really conducive to families on a river cruise, is it? Or am I wrong about that? You are not wrong. And mm-hmm. the the one of the the biggest obstacles is is that on most river cruises, the rooms themselves they only allow two people in the room. Right. So a family of three or four could not be in a room together. That's, right. So- that's the first obstacle. The second one is, is that there, there is no youth programs on river cruise. And so Ken, my experience is the same as yours. There are very few children yeah. on river cruise. Not that I haven't seen them, but yeah. it's rare. And unless they're into history, right? they're going to be bored stiff. Yeah. The entertainment's and- different. There's no outdoor activities, no water slides, no yeah. anything. The takeaway the takeaway from that then, Amber, is folks that are thinking of a river cruise, they can book a river cruise pretty much with any cruise line and be comfortable that they're not going to run into a lot of children or families, run, kids running up and down the halls of a, of a river cruise ship because there's just not going to be that many. No. Yeah. yeah. And if there are children, they're going to be well behaved. It's going to be something they're interested in. Exactly, exactly. We talked about Viking and Virgin as two particular lines that cater to adults only. Is there any other ones out there that you know of? Well, I would I would mention the luxury lines. Seaborn, Silver Sea, Silver Sea, Regent. Regent, yeah. You're not gonna see a lot of kids on those. Right. And even below that, you might think Oceana, but I would think even though Celebrity and Holland, for instance, have programs, have youth programs, there are fewer kids on those. Basically, Dick, what you're telling me, it comes down to having a good conversation with your travel advisor about what you're looking for. Well, it really always comes down to that, Ken. And our job is to try to narrow all this down and and to simplify it. Still give options, but give good options. So it's understanding what what your client needs and then providing them with the right direction. Absolutely. So I gather you folks have an upcoming group cruise on Virgin Voyages. I know they have a really unique approach to adults on the cruising. Why did you choose them, Amber? So they're really the new wave in cruising where it's unlike anything people have experienced. You're going to have a super yacht-like inspired atmosphere. The ships are very modern, upscale dining uh, with Michelin-starred chefs who prepare all of the food. They do offer free Wi-Fi and unique performances. You're not going to have Broadway, but you're going to have shows that are a mix of modern and classic feel. Lots of carnival, festival-like entertainment. So you'll have magicians and comedians and live performers, high-tech amenities around the ship. Uh, There's a restaurant that you order through a robot and the robot delivers your food. (laughs) <laughs> things like that yeah. yeah so they're really going for the next generation of cruisers they are they are they focus a lot on wellness as well and yeah. uh, protecting the environment sounds like a lot of fun yeah we're excited and what are the benefits amber of going on an escorted group cruise well the benefits are for people that that would like to have someone traveling with them that need an arm to lean on if possible there's someone there right it is a group from generally from the same geography, often like-minded, and it's just strength in numbers. And our agency has been doing this for years, and there's a lot of people that like group travel. So that's why we do it. And traveling together together can be a lot of fun, but 
you also you can also come into this group and not have anything to do with anybody if if you choose right however much you want to participate and be involved and we're just there to go along not only to enjoy the the trip but also to help in case anything were to go wrong if perfect that were to happen yeah, perfect well folks this has been really super information about adults cruising is there anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up i i just say that using a travel agent has real advantages the advantage of using the travel agent is helping to find these opportunities which may or may not be obvious when you start down a road on your own looking for not just the right cruise the right ship the right sail date the right itinerary lots of factors that amber and the rest of the staff here can help with fantastic well this has been absolutely super if folks wanted to find out inform more information about this cruise amber or another cruise with cruise holidays of topeka how would we do that well you can go to the website land and uh, mm -hmm. You can call us 785-271-9889 uh, or email. Uh, our email is on the screen. Super, super. And I'll leave that contact information in the description. So I always like to ask, now, Dick, I happen to know where you're going to be next month. Yeah. Exactly. What about yourself, Amber? Where are you and Jason off to? Uh, next month, we're going to Bermuda. Oh, fantastic. On a cruise? Yeah, three days there. Okay. And who are you going with? Uh, Royal. All right. Well, with that, we'll have to have you back to regale us with your adventures in Canada, New England, Dick. And Amber, I'd like to hear about your Bermuda cruise. We haven't talked to anybody about Bermuda in a very long time. How does that sound? Sounds great. Perfect. So with that, folks, I'm just going to wish the two of you safe and happy travels on all your future cruises and tours. May the wind always be at your back. And I hope to see the two of you on the Lido deck sometime soon in the future. Thanks, Ken. Thank you, Ken. It's great being with you. Take care. Always a pleasure. Right. Bye. -bye. And that about wraps it up for today, folks. A very special thanks to my guests, Dick and Amber of Cruise Holidays of Topeka. If you'd like to reach them, I will leave their contact information in the description. If you'd like to reach us with a suggestion for a future video or have a question, you can simply send a question to questions at realtravelexperts.com, visit our website, realtravelexperts.com, or simply leave a comment. We always respond. And as always, folks, if you enjoyed this content, a like, subscribe, and a ring of the bell is certainly appreciated and helps us to spread the word. So until next time, happy travels. <laughs>